Jones on the soundtrack. So the sneaker notes. I'm your boy C Notes. Thanks for checking me out. Again, it's another week with really nothing to review. But um, being that FootAction.com closed and they sent a lot of their stock to Nike. Nike has been reing up with the dunks for the last three days constantly. Um, so it begs the question to me: Is Nike dunks coming out too much? My opinion no like I love the Nike dunk y'all know I love the Jordan 1 and the dunk is just a play off the off the off the Jordan 1 and I read that the dunk came out in 1985 that's wow I did not even know dunks came out in 1985 you learn something new every day man but um far as the SB's I'm fine with them coming out because they so colorful, they tell stories. There's so much good things about the Nike SBs. Like everyone runs for a Nike SB. So I just wanted to like ask you guys, let me know in the comment section below. Did do y'all think Nike dunks are coming out too much? And with that being said, I want to give y'all some of my favorite. So my favorite Nike dunk that I own. Hands down, I went crazy to get this sneaker. Will have to be the Chunky Donkeys, man. Like when I seen pictures of this sneaker a year in advance, I had to go crazy for this sneaker. And it's crazy because I don't even eat ice cream that much. I don't. I don't do sugar too much, guys. Um, but Ben and Jerry, they knocked this one out the park, man. Only regret about this is me wishing I could have got the um the special box with the big Ben and Jerry ice cream. I would love this sneaker a thousand times more just because of that box. I had to get the regular one, but hey man, this is definitely, definitely, definitely one of my favorite Nike SBs of all time. Following this one will have to be... My Travis Scott joints, man, like, Travis Scott hit this one out the park, too. Even, like, the Cactus Western Rope Laces is dope. These are still DS, guys. I just can't put them on yet. And prices are going up, man. I think they're up to, like, 2600 But this is one of my favorite Travis Scott sneakers alone, not just Nike SB. This is one of my favorite Travis Scott sneaker releases at all. You know if you rip it off, it turns into something. I don't like what it turns into. I love the bandana print. What the P-Rods, man. Another. This sneaker here helps me get over not being able to live that 2013, 2012, 2011 SB dunk spike. Because this sneaker here kind of gave you all of it. All of it. Every angle. And this is just the left shoe. Let me get the right shoe. A few moments later. Here we go. Even the bottom. It gives you every SB, not every, but some of the most iconic Nike SBs that I've released in the last 10 years in one. Iconic, man. Heads turn when you wear these. And I show you. Come on, man. Come on, man. Any color you choose in this, I'm fine with. I wanted the yellow and the blue because I love these colors together. Whenever a sneaker meshes these colors together, I love it. So, yeah, I went with the yellow one. It has a pocket on the tongue, guys. Come on. Pocket on the tongue. Crazy. It's just not too much I can't love about this sneaker. Now, let me show y'all like a classic dunk because I am 94% hype beast, but it ain't all about the hype when it comes to Nike dunks. 
So for a classic joint, the Elephant Tiffany look joints. Classic sneaker, man. Yo, and comfortable. As you, if you don't know, it has the zoom air. I wore these to Legoland with my son for his birthday. And I walked around for hours. Not a... My foot was fine, man. Comfortable Nike SB Dunk Low Pro. Got your elephant print. Your Tiffany color swoosh. Man, these sneakers are classic, but dope. And to get a little crazy again, a little. to get a lot of crazy, the complex Christmas joints, these were out of pocket, man. As you know, the, um, what this guy's called, Cliver, the Cliver, Sean Cliver, I think, he came out with a Christmas dunk two years ago, and, um, that was nice. That was clean. Had a little bit of frostbite at the bottom. Complex jumped out the window with these joints right here, man. You got snowman's presents. My gripe about this is I only can wear it around Christmas with an ugly Christmas sweater. But I do like them, man. Let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about these. These don't get talked about a lot in the community. Crawfish joints. I told you I went back and got a couple that I really weren't fond about, but these were dope, man. They came with the net that the crawfish come in. It came with the newspaper that you eat the crawfish on. These were dope, man. In the back, you got your little corn look. You know, you can't eat crawfish without corn. What I heard, I never ate crawfish yet. And I love crabs. I love lobster. I just never ate crawfish. Let me know in the comment section below how crawfish tastes. Am I missing out on anything? The inside swoosh has a crawfish there with the newspaper. Bong, bong. Over here, I got this big box. I'm, I, I think y'all know what these are. It's the Concept High Tur Turka Duncan, Turka Dawn, right here. It's another crazy one. And, um, one more. Street Hawkers, man. This reminds me of the What the P-Rod because there's so many styles, blends, seasonings in this one sneaker. It looks like two different pairs of sneakers. And I was lucky to hit these for retail, man. And they went straight to feet in L.A. Dope, man. Dope. So, yeah, I don't want to keep y'all too long. I just want to show y'all a couple of my dunks. Um... Let me know in the comment section below what's your favorite dunk or what's the dunk you still chasing. Um, I'm never going to complain about a sneaker coming out too much, even though I did with the 350s a little bit. But um, not dunking 350, I'm really not going to compare them because my gripe with the 350s was it's nothing really changing. Like, at least with the dunks, they changed the... The color blocking or the color scheme or the bottom, they do do that. But when it comes to like more of the regular degular dunks like the um the college joints like the um Georgetown or the um it's so many I forget. I can't see how one feels like dunks are getting oversaturated through the market. Um Jordan ones do too, but again, you have the Jordan ones that tell a story. Even like the Jordan 1 atmosphere with the bubble gum on the bottom shows the love of Michael Jordan loves to chew bubble gum. It's always a story behind a sneaker. Nike SB always has a story behind a sneaker. But the regular dunks, they are getting tiresome. They're just blending colorways together with no story or background behind it. So yes, I do feel like a little bit just the Nike dunk is coming out too much. SBs, I'm fine with, man. I love SBs. I can't name five SBs I don't like. So, let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel overall, man. I appreciate you guys for watching. Everybody, get rich.